the Martinez wet fly or black Martinez fly. Um, came across this fly in a book recently and thought it looked interesting, thought it would catch fish, so I thought I'd share it with you guys after I've tied up a few. Um, this is it right here. Using Hungarian partridge for the hackle and the tail. Black rabbit fur dubbing. Copper wire for the rib. And some four strand rayon floss for the thorax cover. Got a size 14 nymph hook in the vise. I'm going to use black uni 8 dot thread. And before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and weight this fly with a piece of lead that I've cut probably about a sixteenth of an inch wide with an X-Acto knife and a metal straight edge ruler. So get it started, come up just behind the eye, turn it around, and get three or four wraps back. That'll help pre-mold our carrot slash nymph shape into it. Okay, start my thread up here at the eye. Cocoon this thread in as I come back to the end of the shank where I'll trim off my tag. Okay, for the tail, I'm going to go ahead and use the Hungarian partridge as I stated. And I pulled these from the very end, these nice mottled dark barred tails of the bird. And then the, I'll use the shoulder softer gray stuff for the actual soft tackle on the front of the fly. So here's a feather that I've already used a few off of. This tail is pretty sparse. And try to line up the fibers the best you can. Don't have to be perfect, but... Okay. I've got, oh, I don't know, maybe 8 or 10 fibers here. Okay, I'm going to hold those in my left materials hand and make two soft wraps over. Check my length. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to come in just a little bit. I find that if I keep them just a little bit shorter, they last that much longer. One more securing wrap and then trim up the length of the body. Okay, next thing to go in is going to be a piece of copper wire. This is going to be uh, medium size Danville's copper. Okay, take off about a four inch piece and tie that in. Oops. There we go. And again, pull it so that the tag end of it is the same length as the body is going to be the abdomen of the bug. So tie things down nicely and come back halfway. Okay. Tail and rib intact. Next thing we're going to do is grab some dubbing. For the dubbing I'm going to use Spirit River Rabbit in black. So I'm just going to take a small pinch out of the bag and I'm just going to grab little bits at a time and dub onto this thread. The abdomen you want to be pretty slim and dub a fairly tight rope here. Okay, I've got three inches or so, four inches of the dubbing on my rope here. And I'll wind back and start right where the tails begin. And wind forward, slightly tapering as I go. And I'm going to do just a wisp more. Okay. There we go, get rid of it. 
Okay, next thing to do is come forward with my copper rib. Nice even spaces. I'll just go for four or five segments here. Okay. Tie it off. Nice and secure. There we go. Okay, let me back you up just a bit. Change the light angle a little bit here. There we go. All right, next thing to go on is the rayon floss. Um, it's a four strand rayon from Danville in a green color. I've trimmed off a little piece here. I'm gonna square up the ends with my scissors and tie those in on top with a pinch and loop. Right on top, oops. There we go, comb them out so you get them kind of flattened out like that. And then tie it on and pull to length. And once you feel like you've got it where you want it, go ahead and secure that in nice and firm. All right, next thing is some more of that black dubbing. Same stuff, you could change it up and use peacock or anything like that. The original pattern calls for black chenille, but I just don't like the way chenille looks on a nymph unless it's super large, and this is only a size 14. So I'm gonna stick with the dubbing, just my preference. Okay. Wrap up a nice thorax that's slightly bulkier than your body. Alright, maybe one more little bit here just to be sure. Right there we go. Alright, sneak your thread up. Okay, bring forward your floss. Lay it nice and flat on top of the bug and tie off. A few nice securing turns. Trim off short. And then tidy up so it doesn't slip or pull out on you. And that's what I have. Okay? Just like so. I apologize, my green, my shirt's a little green, so you can't really see that accent, but it's pretty bright. Okay, next thing to go on is the soft tackle. Again, like I said, I'm going to use the shoulder of the bird. Here's the neck and the head. Use the shoulder part of the bird and this soft gray stuff. So I'll take a second and pluck one out of here. Okay. I'm going to strip off the soft, fluffy stuff from the bottom and get into the good colored fibers. It's also where the stem tapers down and gets small as well. It's fat and then it gets down and tapers small and that's kind of where I want to stop at. Alright, I'm going to use a pair of basic hackle pliers here and grasp this feather by the tip. And then stroke back the rest. That's not being held in by the Hackle fibers. That leaves just a small handful of fibers, and I'm going to trim off a small tie in triangle here. Okay. Next thing to do is curve side towards the fly, tie in that hackle. Alright. I'm going to grab a pair of hackle pliers. Stroke the fibers back so they lay towards the back of the fly and not splay out everywhere. And I'm just going to do one wrap and then tie, tie off. And if a few splay out on you, I could go back, but I don't really need to. It's going to be just fine. Actually, you know what? I'll go back. Just make it look right for you. If you get it right the first time, you don't have to do much fixing. So, 
Reconnect my hackle pliers here. There we go. Hold everything back. There we go. Okay, next thing to do is tie off. Make sure you don't capture any fibers there. And if you're careful, you can put some more turns into that and ramp it right down to the head. Sometimes you can break these off if you hold the thread tight. But if you get too far up into the stem, they're a little thick, so no big deal. Just trim that off short. Okay. Make sure your eye is clear. Now, before I do anything else, I'm just going to look and see if I've evenly covered the fly and make a couple more little adjustments to it. And then with full thread tension here, build up a nice little ramp of a head right up. There we go. To the stem of your hackle. Okay, I'm going to come through and put in a whip finish. Trim away. Take a look at my fly here. Primp it up a little bit just for show. Fish won't care. You got any crazy little fibers, you can trim them out. And last thing I'm going to do, especially when I tie in a soft hackle, I always put in head cement because it's only got one or two turns in it and you're tying it off right at the end. So just put a little dab of head cement there, whatever you got will work. This is a fly tight, non-toxic head cement. Like so, nice and thin. And that's it. Get this adjusted a bit for you here. There we go. Thanks for watching.